morning and welcome to the Experience Pros Radio Show with Angel and Eric. Very nice to have you along with us today. We're here to remind you that small business is a big business and your business is our business. So what is the proper way to leave a phone number in a voice message? <laughs> um, that's a great question. I, I think, and, and what we have taught, I, I believe, uh, is... I think, what I believe, and now I'm going to stumble just in case, Angel, you think this is not the same answer. <laughs> I'm going to cover myself before I speak out you loud. leave your phone number at the beginning of the message, somewhere near the beginning, and you leave your phone number again towards the end of your message. Uh, because inevitably, uh, the phone will cut out, you're, you're in a dead cell, whatever. Uh, or you went too fast and I wasn't ready to write down a phone number. So uh, I, I, I do it both at the beginning and the end. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Is that what you really do? I mean, that, I get that. That's what you should do. Leave a message. Um, leave I your phone number early leave my on. number twice. So that way, that way when they go back to listen later, it's at the beginning. So if they didn't catch it the first time, they can go back and it's, it's at the beginning of, of the information. But leaving it twice. But do you really do that? I, I think what I really, really do is I say, hi, this is Eric, and here's my message. Here's my message. Just saying. Well, okay, and we then, haven't even gotten and, to the message part yet. And then I, uh, I leave my phone number and I leave it twice. At the end. At the end. Yeah, see, I think, I think what we should do and what we actually do are not the same thing. You know what I don't do? What don't you? I do? don't take a vacation between the digits. All right, so I do I do agree that a phone number in the beginning is very helpful. However, most I, of the time we are using, you know, we all have caller ID, we've got yeah, you know, sure. smartphones and the phone number comes up. And so I'm not even sure if leaving two phone numbers is necessary because of the caller ID. Do we even need to leave a phone number at all? Yes, you do need to leave a phone number just in case your caller ID is. That's an assumption. You can't make that assumption. Uh, but I don't sing I can't my make phone number either. You don't sing it? Seven two zero. <laughs> three four four you don't think that that you can actually remember two, the phone four, number four six but you can actually remember the phone number it's got a cadence to it so yeah you don't even have to write it's it got down. a cadence and three naps <laughs> no but if you wanted to write it down you've got time to go and get For Pete's sake if you're listening to this show and you give your phone number exactly like I just did all you need to do is tell me what the message was you could have left three messages in between your digits. Well, okay, so there's the second part of it. So I don't know if it's necessary anymore to leave your phone number so often and so many times in a voicemail because it comes in and in the phone and in the caller ID. I mean, you yeah. don't even need phone numbers these days. It's all with a push of a button. What you do, it is still required to tell me what you're calling. What do you want? So it. that way when I call you back and I get your voice message, I can answer you right. or and respond. Otherwise, now we're back and forth, back and forth. Um, same and, and goes by the way, for tag your it. It's not a fun game. No, it is not. No. We stopped playing tag in elementary uh -huh. school. Right. Um, also, when you're scheduling, uh, trying to schedule a meeting with somebody, if if it comes back and you can't make that date, like the date that's out there, you know, Thursday at three. Oh, sorry, I can't make Thursday at three. Yeah, you gotta give me an okay, alternative. You gotta, you gotta throw something back. You right? gotta volley it back as yeah. okay. But I can do Friday at two, and at least throw something back. Then leaving it on. Okay, well, I don't know. Because if that's where it ends, that's where it will die. I, I often will just let it die. Yeah. Um, in that segment, it's like, well, that was the date that was out there, and since you don't want to play the volleyball game, yeah, and I, it is, it's a back it and is. forth. I received a phone call yes uh, last week, and and it was uh, you know one of those I didn't leave a message uh, kind of things. <sighs> that, you know, it, not me. Oh no, I oh. received a, a oh. message that said, uh, "This is my phone number, and call me back." So I did because it, it's somebody I would call back, and uh, and and then I got their voicemail, and I left a message saying, "This is me trying to respond to the cryptic voicemail that you left me." Tell me what you'd like me to do. I'd be happy to help you. Here's my phone number back. And I repeated my phone number twice. Did you actually say that your cryptic message? No, it wasn't of course cryptic. not. Of course not. It wasn't anything. There was no message. So uh, I did ask him to tell me what he was looking for. And instead, he just called me back and then said, tag, uh, you're it. And I was in a meeting. So 
I, I probably broke all kinds of protocol. I uh, wrote, I texted him, said, I'm in a meeting. How can I help you? And he wrote me back and said, you can't help me. Doctors have been trying for years. <laughs> Useless. Well, here's the thing with with communication and the tools that we have to us. I think that the way that we leave messages is different, and the way we're communicating is far different than the original phone etiquette when the phone was the only way to reach people. Yeah. And I think that even then, people got in a really bad habit. Hey, it's me. Call me back. I don't have your phone number. There was no such thing as caller ID. Uh, the voice, you know, it could sound garbled and. What do you want? Now I'm calling you back and we're chasing each other. It seems like we could be a far more effective with the use of the tools that we have these days. It is nice to just respond back with a text, what do you need? And get a maybe a hopeful answer, you know, what was the data? What's the time of, you know, somebody needs some information. Or actually I was just calling to chat, would you know, wanted to spend some time, want to catch right. up with you. That's even that's valuable too, because then I know don't call you as I'm walking into a meeting, wait until you know, after my meeting to call you so we have a little bit of time. Right. I just, you know, the idea of if communication tools are at our beck and call, we're all carrying them around 24-7, we have the access, we have the ability to use our words, I think we should. I was just curious if we still need to leave the phone number. I think we do. I, I really do because you're, you're making an assumption that, that other people have the technology that you do. I know people who still carry flip phones. I, I know people who have phones at home on the wall. Just saying. All I right. I have a phone on the wall. No, 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 not in the kitchen. No, I don't. No. I know. And in fact, there's how many do you have in your office? Removed the, removed the. Well, how many phones do you have in your office? Well, I, those are VoIP phones. Same thing. No, yours are not VoIP phones. But it's a phone. I'm What's the you. difference? Well, I don't know. You don't know. There's you still need a phone in the office. There's a cable. Okay, so landlines are <laughs> archaic. <laughs> yes. They are not. Oh, gosh, They're see? still a necessary role. We uh, need to use them here in the studio. Well, that's accidental. Accidental? Yeah. We're going to use them in my next segment, though. All right. Well, okay. Eric has now got a weird phone thing because he doesn't have a landline. He doesn't think anybody Let's should Let's go back to the beginning of this conversation. Leave a message. Don't, Please. But not for Eric. Not at home. And don't sing it to me and don't go out and make a sandwich. Okay, yeah, now you're just being digits. rude. I'm not. Now you're just being no, rude. I'm not being don't rude. Don't sing to me. Don't do this. There are there are rules. There are rules. You know what? Do you know when to sit down? And shut up? No. Because <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know when to sit down or when to stand up, if you cross your legs prematurely, you could be breaking the rules. We'll talk about that on the other side of these messages with guest expert Sharon Schweitzer coming up next on the Experience Bros Radio Network. That was good. Mm -hmm. Shut up. How's your coffee, Eric? How else would you communicate with your team, contact that client, or even get paid? Absolutely nothing happens when you don't have technology in your lap. Even a slow-running computer can stall your progress. And when your software doesn't sync, nothing seems to work out. You've got a technology partner like no other with C Squared Computer Consulting. C Squared is your business pain reliever. Solve your pain. Call C Squared at 303-933-1113. The business professionals at Extreme Relationship Management know that networking is one of the best ways to create word of mouth marketing for your business. They also know that many of you feel like it's a complete waste of time. The difference is knowing how to network and what to do with all those business cards that you collect. Tune in every Thursday to learn about the ERM networking laws and be sure to sign up for the next ERM class. Extreme Relationship Management offers training and events to help you realize how rewarding networking can be. Train the ERM way. Find them online at Extreme relationshipmanagement.com and call 855-I-LIKE-ERM to find out more about their next class. Are you an expert? At Experience Pros, we feature the best in business and we're looking for industry experts to share tips with our audience. If you're an expert who offers great customer service and you'd like to be a part of the Experience Pros radio show, click on the radio interview request at experiencepros.com. We want our audience to hear from you. Go to experiencepros.com and fill out the radio interview request and start spreading the news that you're going to be on the radio. Being a homeowner, business owner, or a consumer has never been easier thanks to the Extreme Customer Service Directory. You can count on the Experience Pros Network to deliver the best in customer service and collaboration. 
check out the Extreme Customer Service Directory for all your referrals. And if you don't see your favorites on the list, let us know. We'll check them out. And if their customers are saying great things about them, they could be a great fit for the Extreme Customer Service Directory online at experiencepros.com slash directory. If printing is an essential part of your business day, then RMK Cartridge is your lifeline to success. Hi, this is Eric, and Angel and I wouldn't think of running our business without having RMK Cartridge on our speed dial. Remanufactured ink and toner cartridges are just the beginning. Free delivery and award-winning service coupled with 30 to 50% savings over original manufacturer products means that we're saving time, money, and space in the landfill all at once. Treat your printer to the best. Contact the guys at RMK Cartridge at 303 781 2076 or on the web at rmkcartridge.com finding care for an aging parent or loved one can be a simple and hassle-free process with home care assistance denver by your side they are locally owned and provide hourly as well as 24 7 live-in services by caregivers that are custom matched based on client needs they personalize every care plan to fit your loved one's very specific needs call them today to schedule your free in-home assessment 720-443-3371 720-443-3371 more information can be found at homecareassistancedenver.com. They love serving your loved ones. Call now, 720-443-3371. Wake up with Randy Corcoran, early mornings at 5 on KLZ 560. The Experience Pros Radio Show, home of the original Fan Bragging Fridays. Take just 20 seconds to become a revolutionary by sharing a Fan Bragging story of great customer service on Facebook.com slash Experience Pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Thanks for taking the time out of your business day to join us for hours. Whether you're doing business across the hall or maybe across the ocean, you need to know what the proper protocol is. From L.A. to Tokyo, are you doing business just in your own neighborhood? I think sometimes it's hard for us to follow the norms and know what even the proper etiquette is just here in our own little community. But when we're getting ready to go global, we need a global expert. And we brought in Sharon Schweitzer, a leading expert in international etiquette from working and traveling in more than 60 countries. She is the international etiquette experts, and she's going to share some little known secrets on how to be successful, especially when pursuing business in countries such as Asia. Sharon, welcome to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Thank you, Angel. I'm happy to be here. Sharon, very nice to be with you. Uh, let's talk about this uh, because I'm probably the the biggest offender of all. I am uh, ignorant when it comes to the various uh, intercultural uh, protocols and, and whatnot. You teach uh, business folks how to be proper in all kinds of Asian countries, China, Hong Kong, India, uh, Malaysia, and, and the Philippines, and, and more. Um, first of all, which countries value the formality and the hierarchical systems and which ones are a little more informal? And I'll start with those. Well, Eric, the bottom line is it's about respect because respecting various cultural distinctions makes us all unique and individual. So respect is universally understood. And that, I think, is the number one thing we need to think about when we start talking about international etiquette. So all of our conditional cultural conditioning has very deep roots. So I bet you understand that as an individual, and you have your own cultural background. So I bet you're a lot better at this than you think you are. Well, okay, but let me qualify just a, a, a little bit because uh, I, I do my very best to respect everyone. Uh, and yet when I go to California, uh, I work in shorts. But if I were to try that in, say, New York City, that would be inappropriate. So well, so, so there's there's got to be some place to start, right? Yes. Within each country, there are what we call subcultures. So we may have countries that are a little more formal than other countries, and 
there's someone named Gert Hopsteed who did a study of country cultures. And we have a lot of other what we call interculturalists who have done studies. And so a lot of those individuals are mentioned in my book. And what we've done is we've taken this and we've made it easy to understand. And we've taken it and we were able to talk about different subcultures. You're right. The Northeast in the U.S. is can be more formal in the business world than the West Coast. And what about down here in the South? Uh, Austin, Texas, where I live, is very informal. Sure. And so you have different subcultures, and we're different than Dallas and Houston, which are right here within Texas. So you're right. There are different cultures um, and subcultures. So what you need to do is figure out what is the animal you're dealing with. And to do that, you need to do a little research, which is number two. So number one is always respect. And number two is show you care or be proactive and kind of learn about what's important with the culture or the subculture that you're going to interact with. You know, and I think that it is, it's very important to know. And I think that sometimes there's a little bit of grace when you, when you cross boundaries to say, okay, they're, they're not from around here. And so we give them a little, a little bit of a pass, but there are some definite do's and don'ts when we're dealing with the Asian cultures versus how we would, would deal with stuff. And I want to just mention the book is called Access to Asia, Your Multicultural Guide to Building Trust, Inspiring Respect, and Creating Long-Lasting Business Relationships. Sharon, you say that all business relationships in Asia start with a relationship. Like, it's not just a business relationship. You have to actually get to know each other first. Am I right? Yes, that's correct. It's not looked at there as a transaction. In fact, the beginning point is always an introduction. You have to be introduced. And one of the things that many people don't understand about doing business in Asia is that it's a community. There's a big difference between being an individual and being a part of a group in Asia. Here in the U.S., we move quite a bit. We will get a new job, a new position, and boom, we're up and gone to the new position, whether it's here in the the U.S. or whether it's in another country. That is not so much the case in Asia. It is very community-oriented, so with them not moving, they, they have what they call faith, and they need to know that the people that are coming into that group can be trusted, so they have to be introduced by someone else. And it's a very formal introduction. Yeah, I'm guessing there's no such thing as cold calling and knocking on doors You, if you have to be introduced by somebody, right? That's right, Angel. There is no cold calling in Asia. They just don't respond to that. An email out of the blue or request out of the blue does not happen. You must be introduced, and the person introducing you takes a real risk that if you are going to do anything to dishonor them or dishonor the people you're being introduced to, it's you know, you've got to be on your AAA game. You well, have to do a good job. This is why I'd, I had not yet done business in Asia, uh, I'm sure. Uh, but when you are introduced, is it, is it uh, proper to bring a gift? And uh, for instance, uh, I don't know what kind of gift you would bring, but how about just dropping uh, some, some cultural uh, heroes? You know, like uh, I watched uh, Lang Ping uh, play volleyball in, uh, in, in 2008 with, uh, with the, the U.S. That's a, she's a hero. In, uh, in in the uh, in the world of international sports, is that important? Yes, knowing the heroes is really important, and there are different heroes for each country. So, being able to understand the heroes for the country and the sports figures, whether it's in baseball, golf, volleyball, sumo wrestling, judo, all of those different sports heroes, tennis. All of that is very important, and each country values different heroes. There's Chinelin that is really important in Myanmar. That is an actual sport that they play internationally and compete in. So you're right. That is a prime example, Eric, of what's really important. And if you know that about a culture and you can name those heroes, you, you, what, you're breaking the ice, the cultural ice there that will endear you to them. Gotcha. So, you know, Sharon, when I think about some business conversations, when you first meet somebody, even here in the United States, it's not that different. You know, we're trying to show respect. We're trying to build a little bit of rapport, find some commonalities. Um, But I think we've gotten just very 
very casual and laid back about it um, here in the United States. But at the root of it, it's not that different. It's people, right? Well, it is people, but there are some big differences that we do not do in the U.S. that they do. For example, Eric mentioned gifts. Gifts are so important. You've got to bring a gift, and you have to bring the right gift. The oh. gifts they're interested in seeing are small gifts that represent the region you've come from. And you do have to be careful. You can't bring clocks, for example, or anything sharp that represents the severing of ties. Um, the only country where you can bring a clock is Korea. So, And you always have to bring extra gifts uh, because what? you are going to meet more people than you expect. What's the matter with a clock? Well, a clock symbolizes a limited amount of time and clocks are just not what they consider to be appropriate because it may time the amount of the relationship. Oh. So, yeah. Interesting. Right. Right. Interesting. This is why we need a copy of the book. Tell our listeners about the book, Sharon. Well, the book is, includes 10 countries and we deeply researched the book. We asked Strat4, which is Strategic Forecasting, a global intelligence company, to tell us which countries are going to be the best for U.S. investment over the next 20 years. And they gave us a list of six countries. And so we have those six countries included. We added a three more countries, and then we added Myanmar because of its incredible greenfield advantage, its incredible opportunity to go in and start from the ground up and work with the fascinating culture there in Myanmar. Wow, very exciting, very exciting. Okay, so again, where do we get the book? You can get the book at um, on Amazon.com, at Barnes & Noble, at anywhere fine books are sold, and if you want to go to my website at... Uh, SharonSchweitzer.com. You can also order it there, and my link takes you directly through to a bookstore. SharonSchweitzer.com. The book is Access to Asia, Your Multicultural Guide to Building Trust, Inspiring Respect, and Creating Long-Lasting Business Relationships. Thanks so much for bringing multicultural etiquette to our listeners today, Sharon. Thank you, Eric and Angel. It was a pleasure, and I bow to you both. Oh, uh, and right back at you. Folks, don't go anywhere. When we come back, we're going to talk about some cosmetic rejuvenation acupuncture. We've got the expert in the house, Terry Fox, coming up next on the Experience Pros Radio Network. The Experience Pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com. You keep wondering about refinancing options. You know rates are low, but don't know how to go about getting the best rate and best type of loan for your situation. What do you even need to get started? Wonder no more. Go to CherylAnswers.com. Cheryl of ALMC Mortgage has put together a checklist of what you need to know and frequently asked questions when it comes to your mortgage. Get answers. Go to CherylAnswers.com. CherylAnswers.com. LMB number 1000-20432. NMLS number 266695. You can check the licensing status of your mortgage loan originator at dora.state.co.us. If you have a rental property and have been managing it all on your own, let Legacy Properties PM help you build your legacy. They handle everything from emergency calls 24 hours a day, market rent analysis, and fiscally responsible home improvement suggestions. They don't mark up contractor work, and they provide quarterly interior property condition reports. Get your first month's management fee for free at LegacyProperties-PM.com slash radio. That's LegacyProperties-PM.com slash radio. You're going to love this service. For questions, call 720-989-1996. They'll help you sleep well and build your legacy. Hi, this is Eric, and I want to talk to you about my friends over at McDonald Volvo. This family-owned business has been delivering extreme customer service for almost 50 years right here in our neighborhood. With upfront worry-free pricing and super personalized service, your best car buying experience is at McDonald Volvo. General Manager Will Routon is a great friend, and he wants to meet you personally. Call him at 303 738 4803. That's 303-738-4803. And tell them the pros sent you. Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapaho is the official fitness sponsor of the Experience Pros Radio Show. This is Angel, and Orange Theory is the energizing group fitness concept that is sweeping the nation. Experience the orange effect at the location Eric and I work out at. It's Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapaho Road. You'll see more energy, visible toning, and extra calorie burn for up to 36 hours after your workout. Call for a free Saturday session at 303-645-4290. 
That's 303-645-4290. We'll see you at Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapahoe Road. Nylon's Collision Center is an award-winning body shop that takes great care of you and your car. This matters when your insurance company wants to take shortcuts. Nylon's Collision Center only uses manufactured parts. This matters when a cheap, ill-fitting part is available. At Nylon's, it matters. If it's not perfect, it's not leaving. 303-761-9219. 303-761-9219. Every day, hundreds if not thousands of people are searching online for what your business has to offer. SharpNet Solutions can help you get found, just like they did for Vera at Lovebug Matchmaking. SharpNet has really helped our business expand to 60 miles around our business. Being able to be seen online and being able to be seen through searches has made an enormous difference. SharpNetSolutions.com or 303-900-4988. A public service message from Call to Recycle. Hi, this is Richard Karn. Recycling your old cell phone is a great thing to do for the environment. Visit CallToRecycle.com or call toll-free 877-2-RECYCLE. In a lash. 8 p.m. weeknights on KLZ 560. The Experience Pros Radio Show, where small business is big business and your business is our business. Follow them on twitter.com slash experience pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, The Experience Pros. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Very nice to have you along with us. You know you're getting older when your crow's feet develop ankles. Oh, goodness. Cankles. <laughs> I got cankles on my crow's feet. All from smiling. All from smiling. All right. Well, we're going to talk with our guest expert today, Terry Fox, licensed acupuncturist with Artesian Spring Oriental Medicine. We think of acupuncture, you often think of it for a lot of medicinal purposes. Things aren't going well. You're in a little bit of pain. Fix me. But have you ever thought of it as rejuvenation, cosmetic rejuvenation to help make you just look a little prettier, a little healthier, a little less cankle in your crow's feet. Terry, welcome to the Experience Pros Radio Show. It's good to be here. Uh, Terry, let's start with this. Uh, the cosmetic rejuvenation acupuncture, three words I've never put together in the same sentence prior to meeting you. What, what, what is this thing? What is this thing? It, well, it is traditional Chinese medicine. It's acupuncture. And what it does from a traditional Chinese medicine standpoint is it brings more chi and blood to your face or whatever target area we're working on, be it the face. I've also got training in breast work, abdominal work, and buttock work. But what this does is it tightens the skin. It tightens things up, tones things, perks things up, lifts things, reduces wrinkles. And how it does that, at least from a modern medicine standpoint, is by creating micro trauma in the tissue, which then helps the body uh, lay down more collagen and tighten up the musculature. Go heal thyself. Yes. Yeah, oh. it's, it's all about helping the body take care of itself as opposed to going out and getting Botox or plastic surgery where you're cutting things or injecting poison. Yep. I just have to say it. stuff yeah. into your face. Well, and it is pretty commonplace these days you know, Botox, plastic surgery, there's a lot of different things that you can do. Why is cosmetic rejuvenation acupuncture a safer, maybe even healthier choice? We're working with your body, plain and simple. We're not putting any sort of toxic material into your body. And there are side effects from Botox. Um, well, you look really ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, seriously, the whole lip thing, like we can tell. Yes. And that's what I tell folks is when you get cosmetic acupuncture, people see you. They don't see your procedure. You get Botox and people go, damn. <laughs> you, <know? laughs> you got a little work done. Okay, and, and Terry, now, now for, forgive my, uh, my, my bluntness because I just don't know how else to say it. Uh, you don't look Chinese. No. And, and where did you learn this stuff? Well, I went to the Colorado School of Traditional Chinese Medicine here in Denver cool. and got my master's degree in traditional Chinese medicine. And the cosmetic work, I actually learned first from Doc Ron Rosen, who was the uh, first 
Well, he was the first licensed acupuncturist in the state of Colorado. And then just recently, I got my certification in cosmetic rejuvenation acupuncture from Denise Ellinger, who was also a student of Doc's. But she uh, was one of his first students. I was one of his last students before he passed away. So she's had a lot of time to do a lot of research. And man, does she do good work. Um, Okay, so I want to go back to... Okay, so we were working on, you said the face, mm-hmm. we're talking about our, our breast, our tummy, our, our, our buttocks area. What Love kind of things, handles. Like, are we really talking about? Are we getting rid of, are we getting rid of cellulite? Are we getting rid of saddlebags? Like, I mean, what kind of stuff can you really do with acupuncture? With acupuncture, we can help reduce the wrinkles on the face. Okay. So um, are we talking crow's feet, those yes, last lines? Yes, wrinkles around the lips, oh. around the neck, any of that kind of turkey neck stuff that shows up, the sagging right. jowls. Yeah. We can perk those up, bags under the eyes. Bags under your eyes. Uh, Doc used to, uh, Doc Rosen used to treat a lot of the uh, dancers from Shotgun Willies here in Denver. Um they're, they're, they were a strip club, mm-hmm. but uh, he used to just laugh because he would go in and he would have the dancers buying him drinks because he made them look so good. Really? <laughs> now, so, so now we're moving down uh, okay, beyond, beyond so, the neck. So I, I just I got a magazine in the in the mail. This actually as a as a little gift this weekend. I picked it up at the grocery store, um, and it talked about some different areas. But it talked about sagging mm-hmm. in the breast area. Can you you know and all these exercises and. Kind of rubbing honey or I don't know something on him to like perk him up, and I'm like, I don't think so. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. What? <laughs> I'll, I'll let you read the article. Like um, and there probably is some different things, but it seem it would probably be very temporary. How long does the acupuncture last? The acupuncture treatments can last anywhere from two to four years. Wow. Years. Okay, how do we get in touch with you? You can either give me a call nine seven zero six three three zero one nine nine. Or you can visit my website, which is www.artesianspringom.com. Or you can find me right here on the Extreme Customer Service Directory. Artesianspringom.com is the website for Artesian Spring Oriental Medicine. Artesianspringom.com. The phone number 970-633-0199. Of course, he is on the Extreme Customer Service Directory where you can read tons of customer reviews. He did win Best Acupuncturist in the Fan Bragging Contest. Do you have like before and after pictures where we can actually see? I do have some of those on my website. I do. Nice. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Let's cut right straight to the chase here because I know, I mean, I've heard that a good lift costs thousands of dollars. You bet. All right. what, what, What kind of, how much does it cost? The average woman in the United States, at least from the research that I've done, spends about $3,300 a year on Botox. Really? Really. And you have to be doing it four to six times, or four to six times. You get the treatment every four to six months. Okay. Whereas the cosmetic work, I've priced lower than the Botox, um, right around $2,900. You get it once, two treatments a week for six weeks, and then it's good for two to four years, depending upon your lifestyle. Now, I, I do offer additional tune-ups after that if you really feel like things are starting to fall a little bit and then we perk things back up but it's definitely a much more natural solid long-lasting treatment compared to the botox work just a nice alternative a cosmetic rejuvenation acupuncture you already know about acupuncture and all the the different things that it can do for health and well-being it makes sense that in a cosmetic rejuvenation space that it would kind of perk and remove wrinkles and all right um okay so you've got actually a special offer you want to offer to our I do. listeners for those of you who are listening or watching us on the net here i would like to offer um, a half price consultation generally my consultations are two hours long and i charge 150 dollars for those of you folks out there who uh, like the experienced pros and listen to them I would like to offer that to you for half price, $75. Okay, so what do we do in a two-hour consultation? Uh, Well, I do a very in-depth health assessment. I'm talking about your diet, your lifestyle, your work, your emotional life, because all of this plays into your health, and your health is your beauty. Sure. It's all connected. So when I do work, not only am I targeting the areas where 
you want lifted, but we're also doing more constitutional work where I'm helping your health. So it, it's, yeah, it's a holistic, the whole body. It isn't just just a one little piece we're going to come in. We're actually going to talk about what you put into your skin, um, your diet, your exercise, your stress level, all of that. I actually saw a fun little post this morning um, on Facebook that somebody was had asked like second graders about their moms. And one of the things that uh, they asked about their second grade, you know, is your mom perfect? And he says, she's absolutely perfect on the inside, but on the outside, she could use a little plastic surgery. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're feeling like on the outside, because of course on the inside, you're absolutely perfect. But if on the outside, you just need a just you know what we are like sometimes you have just the sun maybe our diet uh, uh, just fatigue it kind of takes its toll on our skin we don't feel that old but we look in the mirror and go like how when did I start to look like my right. grandma right that's exactly it I tell folks if you've ever had that thought of damn when when did I start looking like my mother? <laughs> See, mom, I was nice I said start. like grandma what's that phone number again Terry nine seven zero six three three Zero one nine 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 seven zero six three three zero one nine nine. Yes, love that artesian spring om. You can uh, dot com. You can get uh, photos before and after. Uh, you, there's no risk here. Go get it. I love it. All right. So you've got a, a blog that um, you also wanted to mention today, you right? Bet. Um, I have a little blog page uh, on my website. 16 Traditional Chinese Medicine Secrets for Beauty. Ooh. And these are uh, traditional little um, folk treatments. But, uh, I actually learned from a Taoist priest by the name of... Uh, Taoist oh. priest. There we go. Sorry. <laughs> but he's up in Estes Park. He's building the first Taoist temple official Wudong Taoist temple in the United States, but uh, I learned these techniques from him and uh, decided to share those on my blog. Love it. Love it. All right. Well, and again, that blog can be found at artesianspringom.com, uh, artesianspringom.com. Once again, if you're uh, looking to get a, a nip, a tuck, a lift, a, a rejuvenation, you bet. You need to call Terry, 970-633-633. 0199. Proud member, vetted and approved here at the Experience Pros Extreme Customer Service Directory. Terry, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. I sure appreciate it. Okay, before, so what is like the most popular thing that people come into you and say, can you fix this? So far, it's been kind of along the jawline and the crow's feet. The crow's feet. Mm -hmm. I know. You know, I don't have any until I see myself in pictures. I'm like, where did those come from? <laughs> I don't ever see them except for in a few Get rid of your pictures. crow's cankles. 970-633-0199. All right, we're going to let you go. We'll, we got more positive business talk just on the other side. You're listening to Angel and Eric on the Experience Pros Radio Network. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. Get your payroll and employee paperwork done efficiently, effectively, and economically with Employer Essentials. Free up your time, free up your money, and let Employer Essentials help your business grow. They handle all of your payroll and HR needs at EmployerEssentials.com or call 303-734-9436. 303-734-9436. Hi, this is Angel, and I've been in my home for 12 years now. When I think about redecorating, I just can't seem to get past what I've always done. Helene's Designs offers a fluff it up service for home decorating. She takes what I already have and rearranges just enough to fluff it up. Call Helene to get fluffed up at 720-233-7302. Helene's Designs is a full service design firm that helps you turn your dreams into a reality. Call Helene's Designs today at 720-233-7302 or check out the before and after pictures online at helenesdesigns.com. Attention business owners, if you're waiting 30 to 60 days or more to get paid, Riviera Finance can turn your invoices into immediate cash flow. Let them help. Their process is simple and no debt is created. Riviera Finance is located right here in Denver. They've been helping companies across the U.S. for over 40 years. So if you bill on credit but need better cash flow, call Jack Loudon at Riviera Finance now at 303-409-7706. That's 303-409-7706. Or visit Riviera finance.com we'd love it if you liked us 
No, we know that you like us here on the radio, but we'd love it if you liked us on Facebook. Keep your fingers on the pulse of all the networking events, trainings, fun activities, and business opportunities. And oh, the pictures. Oh, the pictures. All of which can be found right there on our Facebook page. Just go to facebook.com forward slash experience pros and click like. Yep, it's just that simple. Get plugged into the most positive business talk show in America and become a business revolutionary. We'd love it if you liked us on facebook.com forward slash experience pros. Tune in every Monday at 1135 for What's Going On with Jim Smith from Prudential. Jim will host a lively conversation about the financial and investment topics you're asking about. You can call Jim and his Prudential team directly at 303-669-9701. And tune in on Monday mornings right here on the Experience Pros radio show. The Extreme Customer Service Directory is the go-to place for finding the companies who have the best customer testimonials. Plus, to make it even easier, we narrow down the field to only three companies in your area. If you need a printer in the metro area, we have it. If you need ink and toner, we have it. The Extreme Customer Service Directory is one of the most visited directories in the state, and it's all yours to view for free at experiencepros.com. Experiencepros.com for the best in customer service. When you're looking for the best, think Experience Pros. You can feel good about doing business with the pros. I'm John Walsh. I'm Ed Smart. When a child is abducted, time is critical. That's why Amber Alert is so important. The public is notified when a child is abducted. It's a partnership between broadcasters, law enforcement, transportation, and you. Thanks for making Amber Alert happen. Ken Clark, Freedom 560, this afternoon at 1 on KLZ 560. <sighs> The Experience Pros want to help you get your business right. Have you joined the revolution? Visit meetup.com slash the revolution and become a business revolutionary. And now, back to Eric and Angel on the Experience Pros radio show. Got a, got a bit of a stiff neck today. I, uh, do you ever, you ever get that? A stiff neck? Yeah, I mean, like you, you, you're like just computer leaning down. Computer neck. Yeah, yeah. Computer that neck. Thing. iPad do you, neck. Do you ever get that? Absolutely. I think we uh, all do. You and I went through a phase. I went through a couple months where I thought I had injured my arm right. working out. We go to Orange Theory Fitness, and they, we do a lot of exercise on the rowing machine. Sure. And I thought I had just strained my arm. And let's be, be clear. Your arm really hurt. It did. It got to it got to a place where I could not even lift up a cup of coffee. Like, oh, that's a bad place. You to know, when it, when it's affecting my coffee, Seriously. you know it's bad. I couldn't lift. I couldn't put something like into the microwave. I could not pour uh, the coffee pot. I mean, I just uh, could uh, not use the arm. I couldn't I'll open bet a door. You couldn't even put gasoline in your own car. Um, I couldn't do anything. I couldn't even open a door. Well, you, you never did that, anyways. I put gasoline in my own car. Rarely. You don't put gasoline in my car. Well, it's because we drive my car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I put gasoline in my own car. All right, whatever. Whatever? Mm. Do you have a point? Do you have no, something no, do you have, no. do you have something you'd like no. to share? You injured your arm, and that's where we're going to go. All right. So anyways, it turns out I had a pinched nerve in my neck from all this like computer neck and iPad neck, all this stuff that we do with constantly looking down that we forget that you know our posture. We're all st going to start walking around like cavemen again, like right. with our hunched over posture. We're losing our good posture that grandma taught us. And grandma ever say, "Sit up." You know, right put after shoulders she washed back. my mouth, that was so yes. You know, put your shoulders back and sit up. All right. Well, here is an an exercise that you can do to ease computer neck or iPad neck, whatever it is. It's when your neck and your upper at back are just aching from leaning forward all day long. What can I do? Okay. So, you're going to sit up straight in your chair. So, you can do it wherever you are. Sitting up straight. Yeah. You're going to um, reach both arms in front of you. Both arms in front. Okay. And then bend your elbows so you have a 90 degree. Oh, so, I'm making like a little L. Like a little okay. L. So, all 90 right. degree. You, 90 degrees. So, um, you're degrees. actually going to kind of twist your arms together, like hand over. Like a pretzel. Like a pretzel. Okay. So, that your, that your palms are fit together. Right. Now we've got like yoga going this, on here to do this in, in the studio the with a microphone. Okay, okay. Got it. And you're going to hold it up 
I'm holding it up for 30 seconds with, at a 90 degree angle 90 with degree hands angle. interlocked. Mm -hmm. And okay. if you can't actually reach, um, you know, palm to your hand to your palm, yeah. then you can just do back. Oh, wait, I'm supposed to be like, yeah, like palm to <coughs> palm to palm. <coughs> Oh, look at my biceps. Palm to palm. I'm ripped. Okay, not in a, not in a, not in a. I'm not punch. clenching. Just, I'm not clenching. Just, just flat. I just can't help it. Those muscles are so Anyways, big. You're going to hold it there for 30 seconds and you're going to switch sides. <sighs> okay. Switch. Oh, so wrap the other way. Uh -huh. oh, oh. So it's equal. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Mm. You're stretching the trapezius muscles that connect the back of your neck feel to your shoulders. And it is instant really i feel like i could do the trapeze right now yeah so it stretches those muscles in the back so yeah. do that a couple times a day especially if you've been leaning over um now if you if your if your wrists are hurting my wrists hurt always because you hold your hand in a funny way i, I lay funky. in bed and i hold my phone at a funky angle and it really puts pressure on the outside wrist wonder if dr terry could fix that do you know what you need to do here's here's the exercise that you need to do for for that yeah put your phone down for oh, hours that's a, that's a good exercise <laughs> yeah put it away that makes sense you're gonna have to stop it because it's the redundancy is uh yeah you've got that you're, you're I've, actually I've developed a little like carpal tunnel uh by by misshaping my wrist uh as i hold my phone in bed, you just, I just put it down, huh? You just have to put it down. Don't do it every night before you go to bed. Uh, mm -hmm. You're going to have to come up with something different, a different activity. Right. Yeah, not not using your phone. Yeah, so right. there, so there's your, your computer next. That helped. That helped. And we all have it. Man, I'm looking at the, uh, the, the video of us trying to do that. We're doing like yoga in the studio. Uh, that's um, interesting. Here's the thing, too. Yoga is an incredibly valuable exercise i think we underestimate it because it's not like running around you know jumping up and down it's not cardio we're not lifting weights and but the the impact that it has and the different muscles and the strength training that it oh. requires is just as valuable as sometimes lifting you know heavy it, weights it's ridiculous and then talk about a workout i got a huge workout check out karencorona.com karen corona with a k uh that's a karen with a k and a corona with a k not like your cerveza, and uh, check check that. It, she does amazing work, and I got to work out in, in a 90-minute session. There's so many things that we can do, especially in our fast-paced lifestyle. Um, we're on the go. We're eating on the go. We're very stressed out. Uh, we, we do tend to take less and less care of ourselves. So then what happens, what was the phrase, if you don't make time for wellness eventually you'll have to make time, time for, for illness, illness. Yeah. you will run your body down you will get sick you will need treatment and so just little things that you can do eating a little healthier drinking more water doing a little yoga throughout your day or in the morning nighttime before you go to bed has a, a lasting impact your body will thank you for i it. will thank you thank you, you for uh, fixing my my stiff neck it was okay good. so all right here's something new oh gotta go to a quick, quick commercial break can we talk about this on the other side yeah all right. Please don't go anywhere. We'll be back right after these messages. The experienced pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com. You've got a great business, lots of customers, and a catchy tagline. Things are going great, right? Has it ever occurred to you that if you were doing so well in your business, someone else might be trying to copy or steal your concept and make it their own? It happens every day. But don't let it happen to you. You need attorney Steve Replin on your side. Much more than just a lawyer, Steve is a business consultant who knows how to protect what's yours while helping you grow it to success. Call Steve today and CYA. That's cover your assets. 303-322-7919. 303-322-7919. Being a homeowner, business owner, or a consumer has never been easier thanks to the Extreme Customer Service Directory. You can count on the Experience Pros Network to deliver the best in customer service and collaboration. Check out the Extreme Customer Service Directory for all your referrals, and if you don't see your favorites on the list, let us know. We'll check them out, and if their customers are saying great things about them, they could be a great fit for the Extreme Customer Service Directory online at experiencepros.com slash directory. Uh, computers, we can't live a moment without them. My friend sent me an email recently saying she was having 99 problems and 97 of them were because of email and technology. I hate it when it doesn't work, but I'm stuck with how to get past the lockups, the slow retrieval and lost data. This is what Binkley IT specializes in. 
all your computer quirks and hangups. They'll take care of you, and often they can do it remotely. Call our friends at Binkley IT and solve your IT puzzle one piece at a time. Call 720-254-1057, 720-254-1057. And if your computer is still working, look them up online at binkleyit.com. Let's face it, most phone systems are old and outdated or so complicated that it takes a PhD just to change your voicemail. Introducing Edgetronics, your answer to all your business telephone needs. Edgetronics is authorized and certified by Avea, and they'll not only replace your old phones with new solutions, they'll even train your staff on how to get the most out of them, proudly serving up and down the front range for over 10 years. Edgetronics wants to be your next phone system provider. Call them today at 303-766-1699. That's 303-766-1699 or online at edgetronics, that's with an X, dot com. Did you get some great customer service today? Did someone make you feel a little happier for doing business with them? Give them a fan brag. This is Eric, and you can call in to Fan Brag and Friday and share your story with me and Angel on the air, or you can write a fan brag at experiencepros.com. Once you start looking for great customer service, you'll find it's in more places than you thought. Share your great finds with us by calling 855 855- fan break during our Friday show. Kindness is so simple and we want to hear from you. As a business owner, you know what it's like to wear a bunch of hats, and we know it too, which is why our very best advice to you is to outsource your accounting to By the Numbers Bookkeeping and Accounting. Philip Aronoff is well known to listeners and members of the Experience Pros Network. He was voted the best bookkeeper in the state of Colorado during the Fan Bragging Contest, and he can absolutely help you build your business while making sure your accounting is all taken care of. Call Philip today and take that bookkeeping hat off for good. 720-837-0860. That's 720-837-0860. John Rush during the Afternoon Rush, today at 3 on KLZ 560. The Experience Pros Radio Show, home of the original Fan Bragging Fridays. Take just 20 seconds to become a revolutionary by sharing a Fan Bragging story of great customer service on Facebook.com slash Experience Pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric. The Experience Pros. Folks, we'll be back in just a second. We're sanitizing. Well, I just read a thing about how dirty our cell phones are. <gasps> it's really kind of gross. Sorry, excuse me. <laughs> they say that our... Two hands on the wheel, folks. Our smartphones have 18 times more bacteria than a toilet handle. <laughs> what? Yeah. What kind of bacteria? Well, I don't know. I'm not going to talk about that. I'm not going to talk about it. I'm not going to talk about that. But a quick wipe on your shirt sleeve isn't going to make it go away. But, you know, they're kind of filthy. They're kind of icky. So I I wear contacts. (laughs) (laughs) What a great segue, right? Uh, First, I hold my phone because I hold my phone all the time. And then I stick my finger in my eye. Wrist issues because I hold my phone in bed. And uh, and apparently uh, I I do. I've got I've got contacts, and you know they sit in that sterile solution and, and all of that. And do you know what I do every single time? I I go in for the the clothes. I go get, dip it for the the contact and put it in my my. Eye. I always wipe off on my my jeans. Wipe what off? It, it just uh, you know if there's any kind of a. Uh, oh, still some fiber, dirt. Uh, you know, I just shaved. Whatever, I always, I always find myself wiping my hands on my jeans before I go in to pick up the contact, and I'm, I'm probably picking up more stank on my jeans than I am. I confess, I'm a dirty boy. Well, we knew that. <laughs> All right. Well, here's the thing: like most of us would use like a cleaning cloth, like a microfiber type yeah, little cleaning cloth, something that you would use for your glasses. Sure. Um, your eyeglasses um, are also great for cleaning off your phone, but it only removes like the fingerprints and the smudges. Um, it doesn't actually remove any bacteria. It doesn't get rid of the noceums? No. It just no, moves them around? No bacteria. It just removes the smudges. So it looks clean, but it isn't, you know, kind of like when your kids clean the bathroom. Shall I squirt uh, the, the phone with the Purell? Uh, you know what? Here's the thing. They say if you are going to clean your phone. Yeah. 
before cleaning, disconnect your phone from the power source, turn it off, and if necessary, remove the battery. Well, that's why seal they're dirty. They openings. will never be done because <laughs> you can't like, turn gonna, it off to remove do the all battery this. and all that. This is, yeah, we're never going to do this. So, but here, but um, never, never apply anything liquid directly to, never spray anything directly on your phone okay. or your all computers right. or anything. Sense. You can spray onto the cloth yes. and then use the damp cloth to wipe things down um, and then use the dry corner of the cloth to remove any moisture on on your phone but again you're just mo that's not necessarily cleaning any bacteria what about just q-tips can we just use q-tips those are actually great for those little hard little nooks and crannies and the right. all those little spots and right. um, and so I don't know can you can you put a little alcohol on there um, Big, but here's the thing. Apple doesn't re recommend any products with alcohol, ammonia, or cleaning substances. So you can't use anything that bites right. bacteria on your phone. Well, Apple phones are less dirty. But they say if you prepare, prepare a mix of 60% water with 40% alcohol, then it probably won't hurt your phone. Now probably you go won't hurt class. your phone. Probably won't hurt your phone. Oh my goodness. Probably yeah, yeah, won't yeah. hurt your phone. And you know what kind of alcohol? Because I got some good Canadian hooch. That would probably uh, work better than wiping it off on your jeans. Oh, I, I, oh! I am not going to dip my fingers in alcohol before I go oh, get my here, contacts. If you don't want to go down the water and alcohol route, you can oh. use distilled water in white vinegar, a little fifty-fifty. Oh. You think you can handle fifty-fifty? Uh, and we're talking just a little, like a little bit, and a it's little. Easier to calculate. Yeah, fifty-fifty. Um, lightly dampen the corner of a soft lint-free lint -free cloth with yeah. the distilled water and vinegar mix. Again, don't apply it directly onto your phone. Get the cloth a little damp and wipe your phone off with the cloth. Can I do the that same for will my get contacts? rid of the bacteria. Okay. That will get rid of the bacteria. Okay. So I mean, you vinegar might, is like the miracle substance. It kind of is, but again, 50-50, not straight vinegar. Just slightly dampen your cloth and give it a little wiping off. And after while you're it's at it, clean off. the rest of your apartment too. And you know, and use the, the Q-tip in there for like in the little buttons and stuff yeah. where there's kind of see that's just dust. I don't think of that as like. Oh well, uh, yeah. Uh, take a look at mine, because uh, that's that's the back end of my uh, my phone there. Ew. And I know, and and it's nice and smooth here. That that's on that's the all inside. In the inside, yeah. under the case, right. you're ruining you're ruining the case. You got to clean I'm that. I'm not ruining the case. The case is just fine. It's just um, it's the, just the dirty. Phone gets it's dirty. Filthy. It's, yeah, but apparently, yeah. eighteen times filthier than my phone's holes are dirty. Toilet handle. Eighteen times dirtier than toilet handle. Mm -hmm. Your phone. <laughs> Do you ever take your phone in the bathroom with you? <laughs> Always. Always. Yeah, people don't go to the bathroom these days without their phone in their hand. Isn't that funny? But I set it right next to my toothbrush so everything is clean. Sure you do. No, I really sure do. do. Uh -huh. I really do. I sit it right next to my toothbrush. Uh -huh. and it's you, just you don't use your toothbrush. phone? You don't use your phone ever? Next on the Experience Pros radio show, we're going to talk about what's in your toothbrush. Let's not. Let's not. Just you can you just clean your phones. Give it a little cleaner once in a while. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we have to uh, to go to the top of the hour, the break for news and uh, a little station ID. But the good news is we got a whole nother hour of positive business talk, and uh, you're gonna want to stick forward, uh, stick stick around for this because uh, Angel brought a magazine to uh, show and tell today, and the article that she's about to sh share with you. Um, you're not going to want to miss, trust me. So uh, make sure that you get on our social calendar by going to experiencepros.com, click on the calendar link, and uh, sign up for the Experience Pros Meetup. you find that at meetup.com forward slash experience pros. Get you all where, who, what, when, and we'll be back right after these messages. This has been the Experience Pros Radio Show with business revolutionaries Angel Tussie and Eric Raymer. For more information, you can contact Experience Pros by calling 720-344-2446 or visit them on the web at experiencepros.com, facebook.com slash experiencepros, and twitter.com slash experiencepros. What are you waiting for? Join the revolution. Dana Lash, 8 p.m. weeknights on KLZ 560. KLZ is seeking an outgoing salesperson to join our team. We are a very unique station searching for a very unique individual. 
the ideal candidate will be expected to exceed challenging sales goals by cold calling, networking, participating in community outreach, attending station events, building a referral database, and prospecting daily. They also be required to retain and build long-term client relationships. Become executive we hire for our team must not only be ready to carry the torch of integrity and standards by following our proven strategies, but be eager to succeed and have the energy and optimism to grow businesses each and every day. This is one fun, exciting, and rewarding job for the right person. Send your resume and cover letter to my attention, station manager, Don Crawford Jr. at the number four, Crawford at gmail.com. KLZ Radio is an equal opportunity employer. KLZ AM 560, KLZ HD Denver. Listen live at klz560radio.com. KLZ 560. This is the Blaze Radio News. I'm Chris Barnes. As two Mississippi police officers are mourned after being shot and killed on Saturday night while on duty, a new report shows a sharp increase In the number of American police officers killed in the line of duty, the FBI reporting 51 officers killed last year, about an 89% jump from 2013. Most of the officers die as a result of answering disturbance calls, traffic pursuits and ambushes, other leading causes of officer deaths. The FBI is saying over the last four decades, an average of 64 cops are killed every year, one tally claiming At least 40 officers have been killed while on duty this year. As for the Hattiesburg, Mississippi case, four suspects in court today to answer to charges as we hear from the Blaze Radio's Chris Vermillion. The MBI was continuing their investigation, continuing uh, their interrogation of witnesses. In that process, a Cornelius Clark uh, was charged and is being booked as we speak for obstruction of justice. Hattiesburg Mayor Johnny Dupree telling CNN how law enforcement finds the fourth suspect. Officer Dean apparently uh, saw something that triggered his uh, request for backup. Officer Tate arrived on the scene. You have the ensuing uh, weapon being drawn by Mr. Martin Banks, and he actually shot the uh, two officers. Chris Vermillion, The Blaze News. And a fast food restaurant worker is quickly fired for her reaction to the Hattiesburg police deaths. That story from the Blaze Radio's Robin Walensky. The woman working at Subway fired by the national chain after her tweet praising the murder of the two police officers and her equally troubling comments she puts on Facebook. Subway putting out a statement saying this behavior is unacceptable and does not represent our brand's values and ethics. This is news on the Blaze Radio Network. Truth lives here. The Blaze Radio News on KLZ 560 Denver. Grassroots Radio Colorado with Chris Cook tonight at 6 on KLZ 560. You're listening to the Experience Pros Radio Show, where business revolutionaries Angel Tussie and Eric Raymer, best selling authors of lists that save my business, and founders of Experience Pros University, are inspiring you to get your business right. Let's join Angel and Eric for today's program. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show with Angel and Eric. Very nice to have you along with us. We're here to remind you the small business is big business. Your business is our business. You savvy shopper. Of course. Well, according to the book, buy ketchup in May and fly at noon. May is like shopper savvy month. Wait, buy buy ketchup in May and fly at noon. Um. Although we've been flying at noon on in the middle of the day. I'm on board with that. That totally rocks. The, the airport lines. is empty. I don't know if you can get a deal, but the airport is empty. So May is the day, that, the, the month to shop, huh? It is. Refrigerators. Refrigerators. Oh. Retailers usually get their new model refrigerators in the summer, so they slash prices on older models in May and June. Oh, yeah, yeah. Deodorant. Oh, I, I, I buy deodorant every <laughs> May. <laughs> to prepare for warmer months. Stores frequently discount deodorant and offer buy one, get one free discount. I realize why they're posting this out there because not everybody uh, here in America, we, we are the, the cultural melting pot. Uh, and, and trust me, many of you are melting. Yeah, so pack, stock up on your eyeballs. deodorant. He also recommends at least getting a three-month supply when it's on a deal. Okay. Um, condiments and picnic items. Yeah. 
uh, perfect this time of year. Right, because mattresses, that's when we do picnics. Mattresses and box springs, as they oh. do with re re refrigerators. Retailers chop bedding prices in May to prepare for the new really? summer model. So okay. mattresses and refrigerators, right. your big ticket items. And, and at the grocery store, your condiments, your picnic items, and deodorant. All right. All so right. spring is the time. It is time, yes. Yeah. So there's your shopper savvy okay. thing. And Shop I, in the springtime. I just actually discovered, yeah. um, I read an article in a magazine called First. For Women First. For Women First. Yeah. Um, that there are five seasons. No. Not four. No. What did you think? Winter, spring, summer, fall, no. right? I used to have an office in Michigan. There are two seasons. There's winter and construction. Well, apparently what your favorite season, what your whatever your favorite season is, it yeah. says a lot about you if you have a favorite season. Oh. But there are five seasons to choose from uh, according to, to traditional chi Chinese medicine. It's spring, traditional summer. Traditional Chinese medicine? Get Dr. Terry back in. Late summer, autumn, and winter. So what's your favorite season? Summer. Summer. Wait, you said there were two summers? That, well, there's summer and late summer. Oh. So is it late what's, summer? What's it, um, you actually are summer. Let me tell summer. you. You are summer. Here you are. All right. You're passionate. Yeah. If you identify yourself as a summer person, you have an abundance of energy. You greet uh -huh. anything that comes your way with enthusiasm. Yes, ma'am. Always eager to push the limits. And please. Even though you're fun-loving and vivacious, you're also a force to be reckoned with. And you know how to get results and enthusiastically pursue. Actually, this is not can you I, at can all. Can I have this magazine? This is not I, you I at like all. This magazine That's as, me. Uh, that is totally that's me. That's me too. No, it's no. I'm that's a force me. to be reckoned with. Wait, that part you are. But, you know, you know how to get results and enthusiastically pursue your goals. That's me. That's me. All right. How about, so my husband was spring. Huh? And it says you're powerful. And it says spring is the season associated with the element of wood flexibility and deepening roots you did not just say that if you're drawn to this season you're a high-powered individual go ahead <laughs> what did i not just no, say no, no that's fine just go ahead who has the ability to branch out from anything that's holding you back and once you set your mind to something you're unstoppable <laughs> what did i say Nothing. <laughs> that you're not the one to forget your foundation of family or friends which are the roots congratulations jay you cherish them above all else so what was funny is it, that one talked about your family or friend your roots um, and how what? family was important to you. And so when it came to the summer one, it didn't say anything about family and friends. He's like, and so you hate your family. Oh. I'm like, oh. Aw. So late summer, nice. you're grounded. This is the fifth season in holistic arts. I haven't been grounded since I was 16. Late summer is linked to earth, the sense of groundedness. These folks have a strong sense of themselves themselves and their place in the world. They're mindful of their actions and have the ability to use positive thoughts and behaviors to overcome negative situations. If you are happiest in the winter, which is my daughter, Lauren. Lauren's happy in the winter. Oh my gosh. That really? girl. Yeah. She's, she, she's, 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 she's a, tell me about Lauren. She's creative. Oh, that's true. If you long for crackling fires and frosty weather, it means you're ingenious and inventive since the winter season is associated with right brain or artistic energy. A winter person feels replenished when delving deep into their dreams or doing something that gets their creative juices flowing. You love to embrace new ways of thinking. You have a knack for seeing things from a fresh perspective, which inspires others to use their imagination. Why do I hate winter? And endears you to coworkers, friends, and family. Yeah. And if you're drawn to fall... Uh -huh. Autumn people have a cool energy. They're known for their serenity and strength. They like to dress up. It's in their nature to, I know, boots. Boots are the best reason for I fall. I was thinking more like uh, Halloween. Oh. Go ahead. It's in their nature to take things slow, think things through before making a move. It allows them to let go of things that might be detrimental to their well, well-being. That is clearly not me. Which keeps them sure-footed and secure. So you think you're, you think you're summer? I'm, I'm clearly summer. I'm summer. My husband is spring. Yeah. I have, a, I have a I have a summer child, a fall child, and a winter loving child. And as for the fifth season, who knew? Late who summer. Knew? Late, Late summer. summer. Yeah, okay. that's yeah. a new one. So, what your favorite season says about you? That's all you got to do is just come up with something that everybody knows to be law, and then just add add another season, add, 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 one. add, add one, and and you got a, a chance of getting into. Uh, uh, what's it called? Women first uh, for women first. Uh, but no, apparently this is not new. The fifth season is is not. Bad. Can I borrow that uh, magazine? Why? Uh, just research. Why? You know. Researching what? We'll be back with more positive business talk right after these messages. The experience pros revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. 
Can you imagine going an entire day without your phone or computer? Crazy, right? How else would you communicate with your team, contact that client, or even get paid? Absolutely nothing happens when you don't have technology in your lap. Even a slow running computer can stall your progress. And when your software doesn't sync, nothing seems to work out. You've got a technology partner like no other with C Squared Computer Consulting. C Squared is your business pain reliever. Solve your pain. Call C Squared at 303 933 1113. It was once said the pen was mightier than the sword. We are living in a time now that is demanding the Republic to speak up. Our elected officials need to hear from you. Commit now to send at least one of your representatives the pen. The pen is a bi-monthly publication with news, opinions, and insights for only $24.95. Order yours and order theirs from CSC Talk Radio, P.O. Box 73, California, Missouri, 65018, or online at csctalkradio.com. Get your hands on the pen and share constitutional truth with your elected officials. Congratulations to all the participants in the fan bragging contest. Over 2,000 positive reviews came in. We were anticipating great excitement and increased visibility for each business, but we didn't anticipate the emotion that came with it. There's no way to quantify the encouragement that your fan brags gave. Being an entrepreneur takes everything you've got, and to get the feedback from your own customers has proven to be priceless. Everyone here on the Experience Pros team salutes you today. Be proud. Be visible. Check out the members of the Extreme Customer Service Directory at experiencepros.com. And thank you for supporting the companies that support us. Hi, this is Eric, and I want to talk to you about my friends over at McDonald Volvo. This family-owned business has been delivering extreme customer service for almost 50 years right here in our neighborhood. With upfront worry-free pricing and super personalized service, your best car buying experience is at McDonald Volvo. General Manager Will Routon is a great friend, and he wants to meet you personally. Call him at 303-738-4803. That's 303-738-4803, and tell him the pros sent you. Finding care for an aging parent or loved one can be a simple and hassle-free process. With Home Care Assistance Denied, they are locally owned and provide hourly as well as 24-7 live-in services by caregivers that are custom-matched based on client needs. They personalize every care plan to fit your loved one's very specific needs. Call them today to schedule your free in-home assessment, 720-443-3371, 720-443-3371. More Information can be found at homecareassistancedenver.com. They love serving your loved ones. Call now, 720-443-3371. Advertising is really effective, especially for small business. Turn your company into a household name by advertising on the Experience Pros radio show. We'll help you build a trusted reputation with the professionals who listen to the program. You'll connect with the right audience and at the right price. Advertise with the Experience Pros Radio Show. Sign up at experiencepros.com and put your brand on the tip of your customer's tongue. Sign up today and start advertising with the Experience Pros at experiencepros.com. Dana Lash, tonight at 8 on KLZ 560. The Experience Pros Radio Show, where small business is big business and your business is our business. Follow them on twitter.com slash experiencepros. Now, back to Angel and Eric. The Experience Pros. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show with Angel and Eric. Thanks for taking time out of your business day to join us for ours. Let's talk business. You want to be successful? Well, hmm, let me think. You no, I just want to get through. No, you need to see life differently. I need to change my perspective. Well, maybe not you, because you're already successful. But nine ways the most successful people see life differently. It's a topic of an article written by Jeff Hayden in Inc.com. And I have to say I pretty much agree with this guy. In this article or in general? In this article. All right, all right. So Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. They look at failure differently. For most of us, failure could be the end of the world. But for successful people, it's not the end of the world. It's just the end of an idea. Or the possibility of that next step. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't. I mean, it's it stinks. It truly. When when there's some rejection, it doesn't go well. Um, you know, things don't go the way you thought. Somebody quits on you. All of that. Um, we don't like it, but it's not the end of the world. Here's how successful people deal with criticism. People criticize only when they care. While people still care about you or your business, you have the opportunity to do something better to do something differently, to change their minds, or just to meet in the middle. 
Apathy is much, much worse than criticism. I, I know, but apathy is quieter. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. I kind of like it. Even if they have some criticism, could you keep that to yourself? Here's how they handle unhappiness. When you're sad, that just means you care. And caring is the mother of changing things for the better. Caring apathy is the is mother? Apathy is much, much worse. Of changing things for the better. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Don't dwell on the unhappiness. Use it as fuel to make your life better. That's kind of hard. Hey, of course it is. But I use Hagen Das as fuel when I'm not happy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, how about envy? You know, usually we think of envy as such a bad thing, but think of the people that you admire. Think of the people who you've earned tr your who have earned your trust and your esteem. Be thankful for those people that they're a part of your life. In fact. Don't just be privately thankful. Tell them how you feel. That'll make them grateful for the more from make them more grateful for people like you. I tell people all the time, I just want to be you uh, when I grow up. And and in large part, you know, that's a funny little ism, but in, in large part, there's a lot of truth behind it. Well, you know, think about how that makes you feel when somebody notices what you've done. We always think that, you know, we're kind of these unsung heroes. You know, we're doing all this stuff, but nobody's really noticing. You know how hard you're working, but is it, does anybody else see all of that? So it's nice to hear it from somebody else that that is recognizing it. But think about those that you admire and look up to and aspire to. Say it out loud and let them know how you feel. But you don't have to be, it's not jealous you're just recognizing that they've they've done some harder work than you have. Exactly. Look how uh, successful people handle decisions. You might have so many options of potential choices, both business and personal, you feel stressed and even overwhelmed. Flip it around. Imagine how it would feel to have few, if any, options. Now imagine how it would feel to have few, if any, choices. Be thankful you have options. The more, the better. You know, though, sometimes like every option under the sun can be overwhelming. Sure. And the, and here's the scary side to that is we actually do have all sorts of options, lots of choices. You've got it. All the choices we want, maybe not instantly and right in front of us, but if we chase them down and look pretty for them. Pretty dang close. you got the Google. Much we do. And, and it can be uh, paralyzing. I mean, if you could have anything and do anything, go anywhere. I mean, really, we could, but we choose to go to work and pay our bills and, you know, be the responsible one for the life that we've created. But we can make baby steps and, and alter that life if we want something different. Successful people deal with struggle differently. They appreciate struggle, not unintentional struggle, but intentional struggle, like choosing to work incredibly hard or to push through a mental or physical barrier in order to make sacrifice or, or to make sacrifices for the good of the people who you rely who rely on you. I was having a, a kind of a meditation event with you know being walked through with somebody who's helping me relax, and she says, "Angel, tell me about your life balance and what you do to relax, and you know all of these other things." And she, and I think that I think I'm super busy. I do a lot of stuff. Sure. I stay busy. But then what's the alternative? What else would I be doing? Because just sitting around watching television doesn't excite me. Yeah, mo most of the, the things that, that would be barriers for most people are the things that actually spur you on. And you, you choose intentional struggle. You, you, I mean, clearly, you, you okay. chose me. Uh, so, you know, it says enough, right? Right. Uh, delays. Successful people. Um, they handle delays differently. Remaining patient is rarely fun, but having to wait can be a good thing. We, I'm, I'm referring to uh, our friend Sally Wurr, and uh, she has what she calls a Sally Wurr moment, right? She does. If, if things don't happen the way that she expects, and she's going to have to wait, and she's going to have to go through a uh, somebody stood her up in a meeting or whatever, she just turns it into a Sally Wurr moment and figures that this is the time that, that uh, call it the universe, is saying it's time to slow down. You know, it's a hard one for those of us that are busy, that are constantly on the go. We've kind of got a timeline. We've got a schedule to keep. Having, you know, being patient and allowing for those delays when the cancellations happen, that is a mindset that truly you have to train yourself into appreciating. Absolutely. It does not come naturally. How about regrets? Think about something you wish you'd done better or handled differently. Or think about somebody something you wish you had done, but for whatever reason you didn't. Painful? Of course it is. Also, motivating. Use that motivation. It can be very motivating, especially what's that whole thing? Don't tell me what I can't do. Watch me do it. Yes. Something like that. Something very similar to that. Yeah. Uh, and then finally, we, uh, we successful people, handle time differently. 
because you have the time and resources to do something like reading this uh, article or uh, whatever, it means you have the time to improve yourself. I saw a clock yeah. that had, instead of numbers, yeah. it had the word now. Oh, so, oh, oh, I love that. What time is it? It's now. Now, now is, oh. it is now. So Where did you, you see that? Where now? can I buy it? On the internet. I have a <laughs> fetish for clocks. And I need. I know that's that why one. it really bugged you when she said in um, Asian cultures it is. Oh yeah, why wouldn't you give? It's a, inappropriate a to to give a clock because it says that there's a limit on on Not our if relationship. Your clock says now. Now, now, I mean, now. What time is like it? It's Chinese. now. It is now. So enjoy the moment. Live in the moment. Appreciate now for what it is instead of being harried and always going to the next thing. Hey, look what time it is. It's now. We'll have to be back after this. The Experience Pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com. The business professionals at Extreme Relationship Management know that networking is one of the best ways to create word of mouth marketing for your business. They also know that many of you feel like it's a complete waste of time. The difference is knowing how to network and what to do with all those business cards that you collect. Tune in every Thursday to learn about the ERM networking laws and be sure to sign up for the next ERM class. Extreme Relationship Management offers training and events to help you realize how rewarding networking can be. Train the ERM way. Find them online at extremerelationshipmanagement.com and call 855-I-LIKE-ERM to find out more about their next class. You keep wondering about refinancing options. You know rates are low, but don't know how to go about getting the best rate and best type of loan for your situation. What do you even need to get started? Wonder no more. Go to CherylAnswers.com. Cheryl of ALMC Mortgage has put together a checklist of what you need to know and frequently asked questions when it comes to your mortgage. Get answers. Go to CherylAnswers.com. CherylAnswers.com. LMB number 1000 NMLS number 266695. You can check the licensing status of your mortgage loan originator at Dora.state. .co.us. One of the most important tools in your business is your phone. And you can't afford dropped calls. You can afford Edstronics. They get your phone system to work for you, not against you. As a certified veteran-owned business, they'll serve your business with honor. And they guarantee you'll always be able to reach them. Call today at 303-766-1699. That's 303-766-1699. Give your phone some love and you'll love the outcome. You can't afford intermittent service or static phone lines, you can afford Edstronics. 303-766-1699 or online at Edstronics, that's with an X, dot com. Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapaho is the official fitness sponsor of the Experience Pros Radio Show. This is Angel, and Orange Theory is the energizing group fitness concept that is sweeping the nation. Experience the orange effect at the location Eric and I work out at. It's Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapaho Road. You'll see more energy, visible toning, and extra calorie burn for up to 36 hours after your workout. Call for a free Saturday session at 303-645-4290. That's 303-645-4290. We'll see you at Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapahoe Road. Gentlemen, it's time to step it up a notch. I'm talking about your clothing. Sure, we're all super casual here in Colorado, but there's something to be said for dressing to match your market. You need personal stylist Michelle Martinez. Michelle will come to where you are, custom measure you for an unmatched fit, and help you find your next outfit, all without breaking the bank. Luxury starts with premium materials, and Michelle's got the best Italian fabrics. And talk about value, your clothes delivered straight to you, saving you tons. Call Michelle today, 720-261-4914. That's 720 720- if you have a rental property and have been managing it all on your own, let Legacy Properties PM help you build your legacy. They handle everything from emergency calls 24 hours a day, market rent analysis, and fiscally responsible home improvement suggestions. They don't mark up contractor work, and they provide quarterly interior property condition reports. Get your first month's management fee free at Legacy Properties. P slash radio. That's legacy properties dash PM dot com slash radio. You're going to love this service. For questions, call 720-989-1996. They'll help you sleep well and build your legacy. Wake up with Randy Corcoran. Early mornings at five on KLZ 560. 
The experienced pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. Hey, welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Thanks for taking time out of your day to join us for hours. I know Facebook is fun, and you've got, what's that farmer's game? I don't know the farmer's yeah, game. Farmville? You know, is that Farmville? You oh. do know it, after all. Uh, and, and all those really cool, fun apps and games that are in Facebook and uh, whatnot. You and, can't and tell me you don't play any of the games. I do not. I absolutely do not. Why are you casting shade? No games at all. No, I play casino on, on my my phone. Oh, but I don't do any of the good Facebook games or anything. No. Well, they're not necessarily Facebook games. They're just games that tell on you. On and the Facebook. only reason I play the casino at all is because it inspires me to create an on. Uh, what, what do we call it? Uh, uh, company, what do you call it? What do you call it? What do you call it? Playground for my waste website. Uh, That's why you play the gambling. Absolutely. So you can, so it inspires you to create. It does. More fun. Shall we change this conversation and talk about this app? Because I, I no. can totally go business on this app. This app has inspired me and my business and was the beginning of the inspiration to do the contest, the fan bragging contest, which was an overwhelming success, not just for us, but for the people who participated in it. Oh, so you don't play it anymore? I do play it. Oh, but we already did that. Every single day. Every day. Every day. Do you want to know why? Because they have incentives. When you come, when you log in every day, you get uh, a certain number of chips for free. It rewards the behavior that you're trying to do. We want to do that for our customers. We're creating an experience for our clients. We want to reward the behaviors like fan bragging. And how do we do that today? We offer the uh, the fan bragging option on the the uh, extreme customer service directory, and when people do that, the person who gets the most fan brags gets to be the business of the month. You know, all based on the Big Fish Casino app. Go get it now; it's free. So, so I think we can all buy into that. It it did inspire you, and you yeah. you thought of okay, how can we create this behavior and reward and right. turn it into a game that. Er, Probably initially it did inspire you, Still but the fact day. that you play it every single I don't day I don't, I don't isn't no. necessarily, I think, you know, you're having to convince you no, more I, than us no. that this is for business I'm only having angel. to convince you. Mm -hmm. We have three and a half minutes now to finish this topic. You ready? I'm ready. Let's talk about LinkedIn. That's really where we were going. You see, Facebook may be fun, but LinkedIn is still the professional uh, business person's network. And they've become far more relevant these days. Do you agree? I, th I think so. All right. Good. <laughs> I got Angel to sort of agree with me. Here's a couple of things you need to know about LinkedIn. Not everyone wants to network with you. So settle down. What do you mean? Not a I mean, if you're on LinkedIn, you're networking. Uh, no, not necessarily. What do you mean, no, not necessarily? Well, you know, it, basic rule. That's it, like the person who shows up to a networking event. I'm not here to network. Why are you here? Well, there's free booze. Okay, so I get that maybe, you know, they're not big into networking. They might not have a popular network, but there is an element of if you are on LinkedIn, you are there to network. Cream cheese pinwheels. You are there to to let people know that, you know, you're, you're professional in the professional world. You've got a, prof you've got a public professional profile. Yes, you are there to network. Maybe not as actively um, as here's others. Here's but the thing. Here, here's, here's what we're really talking about. Not everybody, when you, you become a connection on, on LinkedIn, that doesn't immediately mean uh, that they want to uh, meet with you in person. They don't want to network with you face to face. Sometimes it's just. They just want to keep it online. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. I'll buy into that. People will judge you based on your profile. That's why you have one. Yes. That's why you have a professional photo, not your yeah, logo. It's a silhouette. Get rid of that. Yeah, you should have a professional photo. It shouldn't be taken of you in the park. It shouldn't be your logo. And your name is your name, not your business name. It's not. It's. It is a. It is a personal profile. Right. Um. Uh. It is a professional profile, not a business profile. Absolutely. Uh, your personal brand should be treated like a brand. Where you go, your brand follows. Which means that your image, your personality, your language, all of that needs to be in sync. Um, even the the history of where you've worked, you can take stuff off that has no relevance to where you are now. Stop spamming and advertising all your connections. 
people don't dig that. No, they absolutely don't. It's a great way to do one-on-one um, messaging, but not group messaging. Nobody wants to read those. They're not reading those. You're busy. You're putting this whole thing together and you feel like you're being productive, but you're not. Um, one-on-one messages and you know, personal connections go f- much further in LinkedIn. Well, absolutely. That personal connection. If you if you take a moment to say, hey, you know what? I just noticed that uh, you have a connection to somebody that I would like to meet. And this is what we have in common. And uh, by the way, happy birthday. But anything that is sent in a big group, we're just, it's just being deleted if read at all. Yeah. It's not, you're not helping your brand at all. It is certainly much better to, to go the individual route. Uh, speaking of groups though, there's a lot of power in the groups that you can sign up for well, in LinkedIn. And that's where you talk to multiple people. Oh. You can have conversations and start conversations and share articles and write blogs and engage in and group not conversations. And advertise because you'll get kicked out of the group. Yeah, but that's true. Absolutely. Yeah. You're sharing it. It's, you know, it's like we go online and we forget all social etiquette. It's really as if you would do in person, not... I mean, there's still, it's human beings. It's people interacting with human beings. It's still a conversation. It's still an introduction. It's still, what do you have to offer to the conversation? Not buy from me, 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 buy from me. One more. Buy from me. Thank you. All right. So there, <laughs> there you have it. Uh, LinkedIn is still very relevant. And I would say, uh, it is very relevant. Business leading. Uh, social network, and I really like the the new improvements that LinkedIn has put into it their platform. It's a great search engine tool. You want to meet anybody, anywhere, the or researching CEO, a topic. Or, yeah, it is all there in great groups. Yeah. Get involved and use the tool the way it's designed. It is not another Facebook. It is not another Twitter. It is a different tool altogether. And so, just as if when you go to a fast food restaurant, you treat it different than if you go to a five star restaurant, it's different. Treat it the way it should be used. Absolutely. All right, when we come back, we're going to find out what's going on in the world of finance. This is Jim Smith, Prudential, coming up next on the Experience Pros Radio Show. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. Get your payroll and employee paperwork done efficiently, effectively, and economically with Employer Essentials. Free up your time, free up your money, and let Employer Essentials help your business grow. They handle all of your payroll and HR needs at EmployerEssentials.com or call 303-734-9436. 303-734-9436. If printing is an essential part of your business day, then RMK Cartridge is your lifeline to success. Hi, this is Eric, and Angel and I wouldn't think of running our business without having RMK Cartridge on our speed dial. Remanufactured ink and toner cartridges are just the beginning. Free delivery and award-winning service coupled with 30 to 50% savings over original manufacturer products means that we're saving time, money, and space in the landfill all at once. Treat your printer to the best. Contact the guys at RMK Cartridge at 303 781 2076 or on the web at rmkcartridge.com. When you work from home, you run the risk of setting up a makeshift workspace in the corner or somewhere off to the side of your bedroom. It's not really a home office. It just happens to be your office at home. Let Hellene's Designs help you create a productive workspace that transforms you from hobbyist into an innovative CEO ready to be featured in a magazine spread. Take charge of your home office and call Hellene's Designs. You're the CEO. Make sure your home office looks like it. 720-233-7302. 720-233-7302. It was once said the pen was mightier than the sword. We are living in a time now that is demanding the Republic to speak up. Our elected officials need now to send at least one of your representatives the pen the pen is a bi-monthly publication with news opinions and insights for only $24.95 order yours and order theirs from csc talk radio p.o box 73 california missouri 65018 or online at csctalkradio.com get your hands on the pen and share constitutional truth with your elected officials Nylon's Collision Center is an award-winning body shop that takes great care of you and your car. This matters when your insurance company wants to take shortcuts. Nylon's Collision Center only uses manufactured parts. This matters when a cheap, ill-fitting part is available. At Nylon's, it matters. If it's not perfect, it's not leaving. 303-761-9219. 303-761-9219. SharpNet Solutions has been optimizing websites for over 16 years, since before Google was even a company. Hi, this is Eric, and I want you to let that sink in for a moment. 
SharpNet Solutions has been helping hundreds of small businesses get found on the search engines since before Google became Google. They are one of the most affordable SEO firms in the country, and if you tell them Experience Pro sent you, you'll get up to 50% off of your SEO services. Still wonder if they can help you? Google Experience Pros. We use them. 303-900-4988. That's 303-900-4988 or sharpnetsolutions.com. Tune in every Monday at 1135 for What's Going On with Jim Smith from Prudential. Jim will host a lively conversation about the financial and investment topics you're asking about. You can call Jim and his Prudential team directly at 303-669-9701. And tune in on Monday mornings right here on the Experience Pros radio show. Ken Clark, today at 1 on KLT 560. It's time for What's Going On with Jim Smith. The following discussion will cover general financial topics. It is not meant to provide individual advice, nor is it meant to provide specific recommendations with regard to products or strategies. General tax information may be discussed, but it is not meant to be tax or legal advice. The listeners should consult their own financial, tax, and legal advisors regarding their particular situation. James Smith is a licensed financial professional who is appointed by multiple companies to sell insurance and financial products. However, the views expressed during this discussion are solely his own or the views of the hosts of the Experience Pros radio show. Not all products and or features, if discussed, including benefits and riders, may be available in all states. James Smith offers securities as a registered representative of Pruco Securities, LLC, Pruco member SIPC. And now it's time for What's Going On with Jim Smith on the Experience Pros radio show. You know it, and you know you want to meet him. It's Jim Smith, and he's right here in the studio. I love it. Good morning, Eric Angel. Good. How are you? We are doing fantastic. Love all the uh, the tips that you have been bringing to our to our audience, getting a lot of good feedback. People love just how how open you are. Well, I think what's important is the things that we talk about are things that we talk about every single day in our firm. You know, people are asking these questions. And so we want to make sure we're getting that information out to people. I love it. And I love the segments. And if you, if any of our listeners have any segments or topics that you'd like Jim to cover, make sure you connect with him in his office. You can contact Jim and his team at 720-356-6474. Again, 720-356-6474. Right, Jim, what are we talking about today? Well, we're going to talk about some of the basic basics of retirement planning. And we're not going to do a ton about everything. We're going to overview a few things. Uh, the fact that we need one more disclosure to make sure that our audience knows that I represent the Prudential Insurance Company of America, which is in Newark, New Jersey, and its affiliates. I have to always, there's more disclosure than we could possibly imagine. Yeah, but you know something, Jim, uh, I, I appreciate the, uh, the, the the care and attention that the company uh, puts into that because they put that much care and attention into That's right. each and every one of the clients as well. So, okay, the basics of retirement planning, can I just ask you, I am confused. What is retirement? Because it's because we have a friend. We have years. a friend who retired. Yeah, yeah. Wink, wink, nod, nod. He's got a very successful booming business, booming business going on right now. You know, I, I got to tell you something. The, the the definition of retirement has changed over time. Right. And it's really changed over the last several years. You know, 60 is the new 40, 70 is the new 50. Do you promise? Yeah, well, it, supposedly. <laughs> uh, but. My definition of retirement that I teach is freedom. One word, freedom of choice. Mm. Freedom of choice. And maybe you do retire from a particular job you're, you're doing, but you do something else that you've always wanted to do right. instead of the grind of what you've been doing. Yes. So the definition of retirement really falls into two categories, when and what. When should I retire officially from the job I'm doing now? And what should I do next? Okay. Because if you just if you just say I'm going to quit working, I'm going to go up out on the the front porch and get in a rocking chair, and all you're going to do is die at a at a slower pace. We have to do things. We have to be involved. We have to have vision. We have to have life, and freedom. Uh, retirement is freedom to be able to do that. Okay, so the, the 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 plan is that much more important. Yes, much more important, and it doesn't just start when you hit 60 or 65, it starts way sooner than that. 
And now, Jim, I was thinking the magic number 65, like that's when you retirement. That's the when. Angel, do you know who established age 65 as the magic number? I bet you never guess who did that. I have no idea. No. How about the Social Security system? They decided way generations ago that 65 was the magic number. Was that because that was as long as they needed in order to collect the necessary funds in order to pay it back out? It was Some of it was calculations. Some of it was back in the day of, of, of strong union. They said, that's as long as we're going to pay you. Yeah. Right? Okay. All right. It's different today. So you've got to start uh, planning early and you have to decide what you're going to do uh, as you get towards retirement instead of just winging it. So what, when, how, let's start at age 30. Uh, you know, okay. I don't, I don't think I, I was thinking about retirement in my 30s. No, most people are. You have a Superman a tattoo or Superwoman right. on your chest. You're never going to retire. You're never going to get old. You're never going to need money. Spend it now. Right. Here's my number one word for the 30s, 25s and 30s. Just get started. Uh, not enough for me. Get started. Help uh, me. Get started start with what? saving. Get involved in a company that maybe has a 401k. Start saving in a Roth IRA. Do an individual IRA. Things that we talk about our, to our clients all the time. Okay. That we could fill in in greater detail if we sit down together. All right. Help so, me. so we might not have the clear when and what, but we're, we're, we've put a plan together that we know eventually. So we've created a, That's a, right. a program. Even okay. that guy that you mentioned uh, who you thought was retired and went into his, his dream job, he's 68. Do you know if you start at age 21, saving 2000 a year at age 65 and only making 4%, you'll have a million dollars. Well, my daughter has this that little chart. Yeah. Uh, she was so excited. It's awesome. And yeah, so she will be much better off than my husband and I because we didn't get started until the 40s. And by then we had some catching up to do, Jim. Yep, just get started. Now let's go to the 40s. Okay. And that is stay committed and get educated. You know, I think that education piece, that that's one of the things that I love so much about Prudential and what you guys have to offer at your office. Uh, yeah, we're always doing seminars, yes. workshops, ways to educate people. Stuff changes. They do change. But stay committed. Don't get discouraged if the market's up and down. Stay committed to your strategy. But get educated. Understand a very important concept, and that is asset allocation. How should I be invested? What should, how much stock, how much bond, but know why you're doing it instead of throwing a dart at the wall and picking things. I think this is also the probably the most important time to really work with a professional that can talk about all the different programs and tax deferred, tax now, tax later, like That's all right. the different elements to it. You, I mean, we would spend hours and hours trying to do that ourselves on the internet. Uh, absolutely, and so education is important, but you've got to make sure you're talking to people who know what they're talking about. Absolutely. Right, what should people in their 50s be doing? 50s. This is an interesting group of people. I always say, especially men, ironically, there's a psychological thing that happens when men hit 50. Prior to that, they're thinking about what they're going to do later. They're pushing everything away out, got plenty of time. Age 50, the clock starts ticking the other way emotionally. Mm -hmm. So the idea here is let's make sure in retirement planning that we're sitting down with someone and maximizing, maximizing our 401ks, maximizing those opportunities for those extra dollars we could put back. The rules change every year now, and it's important to make sure you know how to maximize tax deferred savings, taxable savings, maximize. You know, I've seen this happen in gentlemen in, in that phase. You know, you think about women and their biological clock in those younger years and, and you know, they need, they're wanting to get married and, and have children. But you do, you see this in the men in the 50s, like, I got to get this done. Got to do it now. And if they haven't started early, you got to at least go after it. Yeah. Hard, hard go after it. So it's Reducing not too late. Debt, never too late. Mm -hmm. Reducing debt, and maximizing your opportunities. I like it. Now we get into those 60s. That's the magic decade, if you will. And there's all kinds of things, but the thing I want to is sit down with a professional and evaluate your options. When should I take Social Security? How long will my income last? Do you realize today a, a couple that is 60, early 60s, just a couple, and the only criteria is they don't use tobacco. That's the only, that's the only right. criteria. Yep. There are studies that show there's a 50% chance that one of them are going to live into their mid-90s. 
We're talking about 30 and 35 year old, 35 year retirement plans. You need to evaluate your options so you know when to pull the trigger. Wow. Yeah, because we are living longer. And there's also an element of outliving or we're sick. We're yeah. sick. We're sick longer and we're needing some right. different disabilities and um, um, what do you call that? Long term care comes into Long-term play. Long term care. We're living longer. Medical yeah. science is helping us to live longer. The problem is we got to pay for it. Yeah. The longer we live, the more we got to pay for it. And yeah, and our children don't want us moving in with them. No, they no, don't. no. To prevent your children from moving in with you, call 720-356-6474. To prevent having to move in with your children. That's what I meant to say. 720-356-6474. Guys, I think it's so important to sit down with professionals at every stage of your life Absolutely. and get good advice instead of just the brother-in-law next door. Yeah. Unless the brother-in-law is an advisor. Well, so no matter where you fall in whichever decade you are in, there's something you can be doing to make sure that you are getting ready for retirement. But have that when and that what. What do you want that to look like? Start with that conversation. Absolutely. And call our friends over at Prudential, James Smith and his team, 720-356-6474, 720-356-6474. You can send James an email, right? Absolutely. James Smith. Put the dot in there, james.smithprudential.com. And remember, remember what Warren Buffett said last week. He said, you know, you can't predict when it's going to rain, but you can start building an ark. Yeah. You've got to prepare, and that's what we're here, here to help people do, prepare for the future. Wisdom. Well, you know, you've built a legacy. You've created this lifestyle. You don't want to lose that just because you didn't plan for it. You want to take care of your family, and you have the option. You have people to help you. James and his team are standing by. 720-356-6474. Jim, we'll talk to you next week. Sounds great. We're talking about annuities. Annuities. Is it worth the fee? Are they worth the fees? More happy business talk coming up next on the Experience Pros Radio Network. The Experience Pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com. Being a homeowner, business owner, or a consumer has never been easier thanks to the Extreme Customer Service Directory. You can count on the Experience Pros Network to deliver the best in customer service and collaboration. Check out the Extreme Customer Service Directory for all your referrals. And if you don't see your favorites on the list, let us know. We'll check them out. And if their customers are saying great things about them, they could be a great fit for the Extreme Customer Service Directory online at experiencepros.com slash directory. Women-owned businesses are on the rise, but where do you go when the bank says no? Ladies, you know it's tough to secure the capital necessary to launch or develop a new business. You need to know attorney Steve Replin of the Replin Law Group. Steve specializes in helping women secure hard money lending when no one else will step up. You have an ally in Steve Replin. He has the knowledge and resources to get you the money you need to grow your business. Call Steve today. It's Money in the Bank, your bank. 303-322-7919 or replinlawgroup.com. Uh. Computers, we can't live a moment without them. My friend sent me an email recently saying she was having 99 problems and 97 of them were because of email and technology. I hate it when it doesn't work, but I'm stuck with how to get past the lockups, the slow retrieval and lost data. This is what Binkley IT specializes in, all your computer quirks and hangups. They'll take care of you and often they can do it remotely. Call our friends at Binkley IT and solve your IT puzzle one piece at a time. Call 720-254-1057, 720-254-1057. And if your computer is still working, look them up online at binkleyit.com. The Extreme Customer Service Directory is the go-to place for finding the companies who have the best customer testimonials. Plus, to make it even easier, we narrow down the field to only three companies in your area. If you need a printer in the metro area, we have it. If you need ink and toner, we have it. The Extreme Customer Service Directory is one of the most visited directories in the state, and it's all yours to view for free at experiencepros.com. Experiencepros.com for the best in customer service. When you're looking for the best, think Experience Pros. You can feel good about doing business with the pros.
Attention business owners, if you're waiting 30 to 60 days or more to get paid, Riviera Finance can turn your invoices into immediate cash flow. Let them help. Their process is simple and no debt is created. Riviera Finance is located right here in Denver. They've been helping companies across the U.S. for over 40 years. So if you bill on credit but need better cash flow, call Jack Loudon at Riviera Finance now at 303-409-7706. That's 303-409-7706. Or visit Riviera Finance. Finance.com. As a business owner, you know what it's like to wear a bunch of hats, and we know it too, which is why our very best advice to you is to outsource your accounting to By the Numbers Bookkeeping and Accounting. Philip Aronoff is well known to listeners and members of the Experience Pros Network. He was voted the best bookkeeper in the state of Colorado during the Fan Bragging Contest, and he can absolutely help you build your business while making sure your accounting is all taken care of. Call Philip today and take that bookkeeping hat off for good. 720 0860 that's 720-837-0860. Dana Lash, tonight at 8 on KLZ 560. The Experience Pros Radio Show, where small business is big business and your business is our business. Follow them on Twitter.com slash Experience Pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show with Angel and Eric. Thanks so much for taking time out of your business day to join us for hours. You thinking uh, getting a summer job? Maybe changing altogether? Well, I came across a great article in Entrepreneur Magazine. It says uh, 55 different business ideas that you might want to pick up. Oh, 55 ideas well, 55. for the summer? But, uh, you know, how about some, some businesses that... Uh, My daughter just got home from college. She needs a little something for the summer. $1,500 or less to start up. In, in many cases, you could train uh, in order to do some of these jobs. And for instance, uh, you could become an accountant. There are certification programs you can jump in and learn how to become an accountant. Uh, no. You're, no, re- no. you're wrinkling your face at that. Numbers, accounting, book... No, okay, how about not, this? not me. Bicycle repair. In many parts of the country, this business tends to be seasonal. However, here in Colorado, it's a full-time... The bike shops are showing up everywhere. I'm not sure repair is in my my list of skill set. No? Okay, all right. How about boat cleaning? Boat cleaning. Sure. You know, did you know that Colorado has so many uh, reservoirs and lakes Actually, that, and whatnot? That might be kind of fun. Like, Absolutely. what, like, like the... I mean, are we talking about like get a, just get a suit on and clean the swab barnacles? The deck? Swab the deck or clean the barnacles? Absolutely, yeah, you betcha. But like, you're doing it. You're outside. You're on. Right? You're at the marina, and you're you probably in a tank top and in the sun. All <gasps> that one. That right. one might be all right. Okay. okay. Uh, you know, you could create a business plan, uh, a service offering business plans. Oh. Help other people with their business plans. I- Act, that's pretty simple. I mean, that's yeah. kind of in my skill set, and I could do it poolside. Did you know that here in Colorado, there are still opportunities to be a chimney sweep? No. Yeah, absolutely. Not for me. No? Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, well, moving on. Uh, cleaning service, you know, you could still uh, uh, go out and, and clean other people's businesses or, and or uh, restaurants and or... No, no, no. Uh, I, I, I think if I'm going to clean something, I think I like the boat idea because I'm outside. I pool cleaning. It pool, could be a pool cleaner. Pool, it could be a pool cleaner. All right, yeah. There you go. It could be outside. I mean, if we're going to take a summer job... Yeah. How about computer repair? There's always a need for uh, for that. Now, experience training and or licensing may be needed if you're going to go into certain uh, computer repairs, but there are places that will help you do that. Again, repair, probably not my yeah, skill set. Right. Oh, here's one. Become a consultant. A consultant. Absolutely. Requires absolutely no skill whatsoever. And it's code for I don't have a job. Go ahead. Send your email to <laughs> radio at experiencepros.com. I'm just kidding. You know, we started off as consultants and... <laughs> One of the things that we said was, you know, anybody could be one because there's no because there's no qualifications. Or there's nothing you can just say, hey, you can make yourself a business card and become a consultant of anything. Um, and about, you know, for the summer, it might be kind of fun. Uh, I should be a I should be a pool consultant. <laughs> how about becoming a dog breeder? Isn't that illegal in most states? I think- oh no 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 you're you're I'm sorry um, you're you're helping the dogs breed. We'll move on. Did you know that there's such a thing as eBay What are you assistant? talking about? Nothing. I, I, I read it wrong. eBay assistant. An eBay assistant? Yeah. Do you have items looking around your household that could sell on eBay? 
Figure out your asking price. Decide whether you're on an auction or oh, an eBay store. You could start an eBay store. There you go. Anybody could start an eBay store. Pretty simple. They, I went to this warehouse or this workshop one time. They held it at the hotel. They provide you with all the shipping materials. It is, I mean, if you want to be into that and have inventory and all that. Love. And then they, they even have like little online stores. You don't actually even have to have the inventory in your home. You don't even have to know the dogs. All right. So, uh, dogs? you know, dog breeding. We're not talking dog breeding. We were just a second ago. You were being dirty. I wasn't being dirty. I just didn't know. You knew. I asked if it was legal. That's all. If, if what was legal? Breeding the dogs. Why would you ask that? Because I didn't know. I don't know the answer to the question, so I asked the question. That's all. We're moving <laughs> you're just, on. Now. You're just, you're just toe, putting your toe over the line, going, "How edgy can I be?" That is exactly why people tune into this show. I don't think that is I'm exactly sure. why. Is that exactly why to see if Eric's gonna get in trouble? Drop us a line on Facebook and let us know. You could just tell him to behave. Come on now. All right. Uh, editorial services. You like sitting behind your computer uh, and or tablet. Uh, you could do a ton of different editorial services, including copywriting, proofreading, indexing. Uh, how about uh, ghost, ghost, writing, ghost writing, copywriting, magazine article writing? You could even write your own book. Writing, there's, writing, writing can be no, done by the notion, pool. Right. Mm, okay. Okay. Um, here's another one you're not going to like. Electronics, Electronics repair. repair. No, mm -mm, not mm -mm. that. Event planning. You love parties. You'd be a great event planner. Um, you you would think. Yeah. Um, but all those details. Do we want square tables around? I could care less. Yeah. Do we want? Yeah, you're really somebody who needs an event planner. You I need an event you planner. You don't want to be one. Yes, I don't want to make all those details. Should we enter through the left door or the right door? Should we have, you know, tall flowers or short flowers? These are these are not. That's not Angel's Gate. Why not become an expert witness? Ooh, what would I have to see? Uh, you know, movies. You, well, crimes. Am I going to witness a crime? You, you know, you could just watch CSI and then uh, sign up for an expert witness. Uh, thing. Actually, experience, training, and or licensing is critical in this regard. We knew a friend, uh, Dr. Honor Shook, who uh, does that. She is uh, an expert witness when it comes to uh, forensic pathology and, and whatnot in, in the medical field for the legal profession. So he, Yeah, I would think you. I probably need a lot more background before I could be an expert witness in anything other than your antics. How about, well, <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're an expert reluctant witness. <laughs> uh, flea market. You know, they got that thing. Just not the thing that the, my high flea market you over at 88. My brother in law was telling me how fantastic it is um, to go to the flea market, just yeah. how entertaining and all the stuff. I, and I've not been um, since I was in high school. So it's been a long time. But again, you're selling your stuff. Get rid of your stuff. We could go into like, you know, total simplicity mode where you're living that simple life yep. and like buy a little small home and sell all your stuff at the flea market or on eBay it. and spend the whole summer at the pool. Kind of great ideas going on. You could be a golf coach. Now me. How about just the guy that gets in the cage and, and drives around and collects You know, balls? my husband did that one summer. He worked at a, a sh the driving range. Has he recovered from his, his uh, and, residual twitch? And loved um, just riding around the cart and picking up the golf balls for in exchange for free range fees. Right. It was he loved it for a summertime job. It was super fun. Did that when um, um, when Michael was like first born. All you got to do is ball a up a break. tissue and throw it at him. Though he twitches like crazy. <laughs> uh, all right, home inspection. There's household organizers. Uh, I know a household organizer. That's right? a tough job. It is a tough job, but some people love it. Mm -hmm. uh, make jewelry. Find your zen place. There's all kinds of different ones here. Uh, way too many to get into all of them, but you know, uh, do something. Do something this summer. So my, my late friend Ron, his idea of a summer job was to get an icy machine and go live on a boat on the lake Absolutely. and sell uh, smoothies. And I like that, that idea. That is a great idea. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, we're going to go do that. And uh, we may or may not be back on the air tomorrow. Uh, if we are, you can find us at the same time as always right here on KLZ AM 560, and uh, that's 10 to noon. For those of you who aren't playing along for all two hours, you can check us out. You can also find the archives at experiencepros.com. That's experiencepros.com. The archives are available of every show that we've ever done, and that's enough to keep you up for multiple thousands of hours. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. All right. On behalf of Charlie, our producer, and Angel, myself, and all the people that make the Experience Pros radio show hap have happen every single day, we say thank you for tuning in and participating in this, the revolution in how people treat people in business. We wish you a very happy rest of the day and, uh, you know, tune in tomorrow and find out what crazy stuff I'm going to say tomorrow.
This has been the Experience Pros Radio Show with business revolutionaries Angel Tussey and Eric Raymer. For more information, you can contact Experience Pros by calling 720-344-2446 or visit them on the web at experiencepros.com, facebook.com slash experiencepros, and twitter.com slash experiencepros. What are you waiting for? Join the revolution. KLZ is seeking an outgoing salesperson to join our team. We are a very unique station, searching for a very unique individual. The ideal candidate will be expected to exceed challenging sales goals by cold calling, networking, participating in community outreach,